Okay, next I'm going to do strategy four. And this is when you're subtracting the ones and you would cause you to regroup. So instead of regrouping, we're going to um, subtract 10 and then add the extra ones. I had 123 minus 5. Again, just like the other ones, I'd ask, what are we subtracting, hundreds, tens, or ones? In this case, we're subtracting the ones. If I had three ones, could I subtract five ones without regrouping? No. So in this case, I'm going to turn this into a 10. Remember those number bonds. So 5 and 5 make 10. So now I go through and I say, well, I was going to subtract 123 minus 5. Now I'm going to subtract 123 minus 10, just like in strategy number 2. So 123 minus 10 is really just 20 minus 10. Take a 10 away. So now I'm left with 113. I subtracted too many. Now I'm going to add the extra ones to balance it out. So we're going to add the ones. Five ones plus three ones is eight ones. So 118 is your difference. I'm going to show you another way to also solve this problem. Okay. 120 3 minus 5. The same. What are we subtracting? Hundreds, tens, or ones? We're subtracting the ones. It would cause us to regroup. So instead of regrouping, we're going to turn it into a 10. So we'll turn this into a 10. And 5 and 5 are what make 10. So I'm going to do 123 minus, not 5, now we're going to do 10. So minus 10. 123 minus 10 is 113. Just like we did up here when we crossed out the 2 and put a 1 up there, that was 113. Bring down 113 Oops. plus your extra 1s, which is 5. Again, we're just adding the 1s mentally, so that turns out to be 118. These are two ways to solve the same problem to come up with the correct answer. I'm fine with either one. minus 7. Again, what are we subtracting? The hundreds, tens, or ones? In this case, we are subtracting the ones. So, 3 ones minus 7 ones. If we have 3 ones, can we take 7 ones away? No. So, we're going to have to turn it into a 10. And what's the other part? 7 and what make 10? 3. So, we're supposed to do 823 minus 7. Seven. Now we're going to do 823 minus 10. And I'm going to write this out the other way. Minus 10. Minus 10. 813. 813. We're going to add the extra ones. 3 plus 3 is 6. Plus the extra ones. Comes out to 816. Okay? Now we're going to do strategy number five. And this is um, subtract 100 and add the extra tens. So if I had 456 minus 60, again, I start every problem. What are we subtracting, the hundreds, tens, or ones? In this case, we're subtracting the tens. If I have five tens, can I take six tens away without regrouping? No. So I'm going to turn this in to a 100 bond, 100 number bond. And thinking, 60 and what make 100? Show your kids. Take away the extra zero. Six and what make 10? That would be four and add on your zero, so it's 40. So we were supposed to do 456 minus 60. Now we're going to do 456 minus 100. So take away that 100. I'm going to write it out for you if you want to see the steps right now. Minus 100 equals 
356. We're going to use that same number and add on our extra tens. We took away, we we're only supposed to take away 60. Instead, we took away 100, which was too many. So in order to balance it out, we're going to add on the extra 40. Add on 40 to our tens column. We have five tens plus four tens is nine tens. Plus 40 equals 396. Okay, let's do one more. Minus 70. Again, what are we subtracting? Hundreds, tens, or ones. In this case, we're subtracting tens. At two tens, can I take seven tens away without regrouping? No. So instead, I'm going to turn it into a number bond. Thirty and seventy make one hundred. So I was going to do 426 minus 70. Now I'm going to do 426 minus 100. To take away 100. Let me write this out. 426 minus 100 equals 326. Bring that 326 down. Now, because we subtracted too many, we need to add on the extras to balance it out. So we're going to add on 30. 30 plus 20 is 50. 356 is my difference. Okay? I hope this helps you out.